Someone is vandalizing churches, nonprofits and businesses in Jennings starting in mid December and as recently as yesterday, at least a dozen buildings have had windows broken out. It's caused thousands of dollars in damage. Ray Preston's been talking with the victims who say they're hoping the vandalism will stop. In the 6800 block of West Florissant, you can count the broken windows one after another. Buildings that were vandalized three weeks ago have plywood up. A few blocks away, the pastor at this church that had its windows broken out says they've painted the plywood so it wouldn't be such an eyesore while they wait to replace the glass. There's about $3,300 in damage. While several businesses on his block have been vandalized. We're all small businessmen down here, small business, businessmen and women, you know, just trying to make a living, just trying to provide for our families. Trevor Epps barbershop hasn't been struck and he's keeping his fingers crossed. He said it's tough enough to survive in business these days. Especially with COVID going on. You know, it's hard enough to make a living right now already. You know, and I don't understand uh, why the guy is doing what he's doing. Police have now released the security camera pictures of the man. They tell us they are now hoping for the public's help in finding this suspect. They tell us that so far, some leads have been coming in. Community has been a big help. Um, our residents here in Jennings, we, our precinct detective is now sifting through all the leads and the tips. Police say they don't know what the man's motives may be. In none of these property damages, he's made any attempts to enter the structures and, and steal anything from, from, the, from these places. So we have no idea. I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what he's thinking or how he's feeling, but I, I really just wish it would stop. In Jennings, Ray Preston, News 4.